Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome to Your Journey Awaits. So, last time, I cheated my way through a really good challenging level that went on for two and had uh, an interesting idea for the boss, but uh, I didn't really like the execution. Today, we're going to Mount Scorch. Here, let's see here. Looks like some rough terrain up ahead. Better be careful when you kick a shell. No ter telling no telling where it could go. Oh, I know exactly where it'll go. Forward. Nice and good then. And it even came back to and murder and ate a Goomba for me. With a spike on his hat. Turned spike hat Goombas. What's that even called? People how? Wow, these turtles are running fast. Fast turtles. Have they been pasted or something? I am surprised I did not get hit there. Ah! One thing I always loved in Paper Mario was getting a zapshrew before the first time you fight a horde of uh, um, puzzles as a boss, as a pseudo boss fight, because then they can't hurt you as long as the mushroom is ready. I don't know why I decided to start talking to you, but something about the Goombas with the spike hats reminded me of that one boss from Paper Mario who is always chasing you around and fighting you and losing. And then one time he shows up both flying and with a spike on his head, requiring you to have at least one specialized badge for dealing with at least one of those things, like being able to throw a hammer at his head, or, uh, um, or doing something else, jumping on spikes. No! Okay, good, I still have four lives left. Yeah, so... Turtle, 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 turtle. I do like the concept of a level design around just messing with the... Oh. Just messing with shell tossing. Where... I mean, if you know the game better than I do, which probably isn't that hard to do, you can pre predict pretty well where a shell's gonna go, but as for me, I just have a general idea that shells are going to go up. Darn it. I curse you, winged monstrosity. Yeah, take the- oh right, Goombas. Darn it! Those Goombas exist specifically to prevent people from just running on by the hammer entities. I swear. And you know, that's not a bad decision. Forcing players to actually deal with the obstacles you have placed in front of them. Alright, so. Hello, weak monster. Darn it! Okay, I somehow managed to do that without dying. Probably. Yeah, 
Eh, bonk. Bonk. Come on. Yes. Gotcha. What happened? I was going to try and slide through that gap there that those skulls went through, but then I realized, no, I'm not going to fit there. So I tried to jump away and bonked my head on a skull. I tried to have Mario jump and he didn't. And that somehow worked out better than when I was deliberately than when I the things I wanted to do were actually happening. Alright, alright, bonk. Take that. You have been overpowered by bomb. Yeah, I'm going to wait for that fireball to go away. There. Now I'm going to go on the left of the skull so that I don't bonk my head on skulls. Woo! Woo! Darn it! I waited too long to try and turn away and not hit the lava. The placement of that skull is just so difficult. <laughs> okay, I can I can do this. Woo! I'm surprised I actually made it up here. Yes. Take that. Yes! I did it! And that somehow worked again. Ooh. I'm still not sure how I managed to make that dodge every single time, but somehow it works! We're at the one where I'm going under the uh, Goombas, but over the turtle. I can't help but notice that more often than not, when I see fast turtles, they come in pairs. I assume that's a deliberate combat strategy on their part. Okay, I made that one. I made it. Now to try to avoid dying from something dumb. Okay, I'm getting a phone call from an unknown number. I missed a phone call from an unknown number. And usually when I'm faced with a ring that short, it's some kind of spam call, but it, my phone isn't even telling you what number that call means. Okay, okay. So, in violation of this idea that I had about fast turtles working in pairs, there was one lonely single fast turtle. Er, gotcha. But since one of these bombs has a thing in it, yes. Power up. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, these turtles are immune to fire. 
Which, considering their pro general proximity to lava, makes sense. Okay, that jump is just not cool. And I'm on my last life. Much as I hate to do this, I'm gonna cheat my way through this level. Don't hurt me. A pimpin and a poppin. Ready get his cool. Ready get his cool. Ready get his cool. Okay. I don't know why my tiny keyboard has so much trouble with that. But whatever. Now I will get to find out what the tier 2 pa- Oh! That would have been nice to have on my first attempt to go through this level. Well, since I'm invincible, I'm going to see if there's any secrets. It doesn't look like it. The invincibility had nothing to do with that one. That was infinite hoppiness. Okay, can't go through there. Too tall. Alright, I can understand this jump because you are deliberately uh, encouraging me to have momentum, but the jump at the end here... If I don't have a... What, what, uh, what, what's with everything slowing and all the responses are slowing? Anyway, that jump, if you don't have momentum, you need a leaf to get through there. And it, it, you're not exactly in a situation that encourages you to have momentum. You know, I should actually be trying to make an attempt for this part. Okay, so I have one line. Sure, I made the midpoint, I have one line, I'll do this for real. Okay. Okay. Kick. Take that. <sighs> so. Take that. Oh, there's a bat of some description. Hello, bats. Confident, and then get struck uh, by the shell on its way back. I think that's pretty clever. Yeah, come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. 
fact that I'm hearing Mario make the jump noise here oh, makes me think that I still have infinite jumpy hoppiness, but and I try it and I don't, so hold on. Cat is knocking a pile of my stuff around. Okay. Oh, what? I, I can't... I, I did all that work and now I can't make it to the top. Oh, that's just cruel. That is just cruel. I did all that work only to find that it's impossible to make it to the top. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can fly from there. Alright. What do we have up here that makes it worth the time and effort and risk? Hey, buddy! That definitely makes it worth the time and effort to get up here. Come on, buddy. We're going to wreck things now. Oh, nice! And there's another place up here. And I was never meant to go here. Wow, look at that. Um... I feel like I've entered a glitch place in Pokemon. Uh, oh. What? What? Someone pushed me back. Weird. Oh, yeah. What a weird place! I feel like I've entered a glitch town in Pokemon or something. I don't know if that was if that feeling was deliberate, but it is there. Oh god no! Oh, I lost Buddy, but I didn't die. to redo everything. Cheat mode. Don't hurt me. A tipping a puppet. Ready to get into poo. Red. Egg. And poo. So I think what's going on with trying to type in the Redigit is cool cheat, is I'm typing too fast for my tiny keyboard to handle. Which is a thing that happens a lot when I'm typing. When I'm typing other things, it skips letters so often. Yeah, so. I'm just going to hop on up here. I am apparently intended to be able to reach this place without a leaf. But... As far as I can tell, the uh... Um... Oh, the trampoline. The bouncy notes just don't let you go. Crush stone. 
can sever metal as they are thrashed. Oh, no power moves. Oh, well, those multi coin blocks are really useful for taking on the. Uh... Ah! Wow. I would have died. Not counting when I just wasn't ducking here, which also would kill me like three times in the lead up to that. Ugh. So, here's where I am. Oh, right. Some turtles are being fired. I do like these nifty, unreachable caves that have bats that, you, that can come interact with you, and blogs that are just there to be intimidating and wrecking and stuff. Oh, right. These aren't all red uh, enemies, it's just that Yoshi is red. Okay. Oh, that's the last. Next, Grand Mesa. Alright, so. What I'm going to do is turn off my cheats and try this level until I game over, and then I'll try again tomorrow. So, don't hurt a pippin in a pumpkin. Red egg, it is cool. Kitty so funny. Alright, so, are those puppy goombas? Turtle shell. Alright, so one place to look for secrets would be down the sand. But the screen seems to stop and I am and I will gladly look for any excuse not to go in a sand pit. Yeah. Uh, come on, come on, get out. Okay. I love these pipes. Oh, and I like those random solid blocks in the loot inside the looser surrounding sand. Alright, so, on the one hand, this makes me want to go down and check out what's down here. On the other hand, I hate being in sand. Okay, yeah. it's just cool looking stuff down there. Not, it doesn't look like there's actually anything substantial. Oh, oh are there power ups here? Alright, so... Alright. Sorry I'm not saying much, but look at those pipes! They are gorgeous! Huh. There's a thing that is out of place. I must explore it. Yes. Well, okay. I remember when I was a kid, I always preferred the Fire Flower over the cave in Super Mario World. Oh, hey, there's a buddy here! Anyway, even when I was riding Yoshi, I preferred the Fire Flower over the cave because I was a kid and didn't know Benny. My thought was, yeah, fire! This will let me fight things without having to get close to them, because again, as a kid, I was terrified of getting close to them. And, you know, I didn't think about how you know, the cape still actually does something when you're on the ocean. 
And it doesn't help that I first played the game at my cousin's house, and my cousin either said something or I misinterpreted something that they said. That was basically, yeah, the cape doesn't do anything while well, you're on Yoshi, but the fire flower does. I don't know. I, I probably misinterpreted what they were saying, because that's the exact opposite of what the cape is. Oh. Take that! Yeah, how do you like that fire plant? Okay, well that happened. Oh, what's this? I must explore what is up here. Oh, how nice! Oh! This tree marks a uh, marks the hidden block that you use to uh, get up there. That's cool. Ha! Huh. All right. So before I go through here, I want to make sure that oh, I turned before I jumped. I want to make sure of something. Yes. I want to make sure there are no secrets up here. Okay, no secrets up there. Okay, I found a midpoint. I'm so used to blocks of four coins like that indicating a secret of some kind. Oh gosh, what if I have to go up here? I'm scared. Okay, now I can try it for real. Oh! No! Why, buddy, why? Ah! Alright, you know, whatever. Hammer. Yeah. Darn it. Okay, this... Happened. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close to max length of recording time, so if I die, I'm just going to... Uh, Call it then. Okay, okay, so. Huh. I wonder what that pipe over there does. Oh, I think it shoots things out. Huh. What? I hit the. Oh! I guess I didn't see the shell that came out from that pipe. Oh, I get it. Once I crack that, <laughs> once I crack that brick, that pipe is gonna fall. Yeah, and bring you with it a ton of sand. I'm curious. Now this is probably just background sand. And that probably is just going to be a bottomless pit. Hiya. But I do like the touch that some of the sand is flowing down to where that pipe is. Okay, I assume that, yeah, how long? Is there going to be anything else? Nope. Okay, well, that's certainly a uh, thing, isn't it? Hey. Pipe? Door? No. Alright, so... Oop. Nothing. Oh, come on. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay, so... Woo! I do not know how I managed to get out of that situation on arm. 
but it is in fact a thing that has happened. was hitting low battery and needed to have the charger plugged in. Okay, so. Nothing? Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Secrets. Secrets. Oh my! Well, that was unexpected! Well, I guess today I'll get the key exit, and then tomorrow we can go for the regular exit. I appreciate that see the location of the secret exit here. That was glorious! I love it! Alright, well, join me tomorrow as we, uh, clear the standards of the brand new.